All right, guys, I just wanted to give everyone a full breakdown about where we stand in terms of the NFL playoffs going into week 18 with percentages, with clinching scenarios, with every game that's been confirmed because right now they're waiting for the Monday night game to happen before they confirm the other games, but there are two Saturday games that are confirmed. So this is a full breakdown What's going to be happening in the NFL in Week 18? Let's rapid fire through all the scenarios. The number one seed in the AFC, the Buffalo Bills, need to beat the Bengals tonight. They're one and a half point favorites. It's basically a toss up. And then they need to beat the Patriots at home. If they beat the Bengals tonight, I do think there's a very good chance the Bills will get that very critical number one overall seed and the and the buy that comes with it. The Chiefs, who are 13-3 and right now, they need a win on the road against the Raiders team that surprisingly played really well with Jarrett Stidham, and they also need the Bills to lose one of two games, whether it is at the Bengals or versus the Patriots. So right now, the Bills are in the driver's seat. If they win out, they get the number one overall seed, but if they lose, let's say to Cincinnati tonight, Kansas City gets into the driver's seat, and I would imagine uh, those two games next week, the Bills game and the Chiefs game, those games will be played at the exact same time because, you know, you want to, both of those teams have basically a scenario where Kansas City needs, probably needs the Bills to lose if the Bills win this game tonight. So right now, Buffalo, if they win out, they get the number one seed. If they lose a game and Kansas City wins next week, which we think they're probably going to, they would get the one seed. The Bengals have a very outside chance. They need to beat the Bills and the Ravens, both home games, and they need a Chiefs loss to the Raiders. So that is very unlikely, but there is an outside shot that the Bengals get the number one overall seed in the AFC. Looking at the AFC South title, this division it is amazing. Uh, you've got the Jaguars at 8-8. Eight and eight. They need a win or a tie versus the Titans, so basically a win, although it would be kind of funny if the game was tied and there was like four minutes left in overtime and they were just trying to salt the game away to tie. Uh, and then the Titans, you know, with Josh Dobbs at this point, it's very hard. They will likely be seven-point underdogs, I think was the early line that I saw. They need to beat the Jaguars straight up. The Jaguars playing really well with Trevor Lawrence right now. The Titans trending down. I would expect the Jaguars to capture the AFC South title and Trevor Lawrence make his first appearance in a playoff game. The AFC North title. The Bengals clinch with a win versus the Bills or a win versus the Ravens. So that is the scenario for them. I would imagine if they lose those two games, the Ravens get the AFC North title, uh, but the Ravens need Cincinnati. Wait, is that seriously the case? Wow. So if the Bengals lose this game, then the Ravens versus Bengals game next week is for, the, is for the North, possibly with Lamar Jackson back. That's interesting. I would expect Cincinnati to win it, but actually, I don't know if that's the case because Cincinnati or the uh, Baltimore just lost to Pittsburgh. I think Baltimore has 10 wins, so it might be. They might have the tiebreaker. So that could be an AFC North showdown there. The the seven-seed wild card, the Patriots can clinch it with a win at the Bills, which is going to be very hard, or a Dolphins loss versus the Jets, which I don't think is going to happen, and a Steelers loss versus the Browns. That's the Patriots for the seven seed. Dolphins clinch with a win versus the Jets and a Patriots loss to the Bills. It seems most likely that's the scenario that's going to play out, I would say, right now. The Dolphins for the seven seed, all they've got to do is beat a Jets team. The Mike White magic looks to be over, but I don't know. You know what? I don't think two is playing again this year. So they might lose to the Jets, and then they do need a Patriots loss at the Bills. That seems likely the Patriots will go into Buffalo as long as Josh Allen is healthy as big underdogs. The Steelers at 8-8 eight eight can clinch with a win versus the Browns, and the Browns are eliminated, and a Dolphins loss versus the Jets, and a Patriots loss at the Bills. It's not horribly far-fetched. I will say the Browns looked good against the Commanders, but that is for the Steelers to get in as the 7th seed, and then the Jaguars 
clinch with a... So the, the Jaguars actually have an outside chance at a wild card if they lose to the Titans and then losses by the Dolphins, Patriots, and the Steelers, which honestly could happen. I mean, all those teams could lose. I doubt it'll happen, but the Jaguars do have an outside chance. Even if they lose the AFC South to, to Tennessee, they've got an outside chance at the title. Moving, or they've got an outside chance at a wild card board, excuse me. Moving on to the NFC, the Eagles still trying to finish that number one seed. They lost to New Orleans with Gardner Minshew. Early reports are that Jalen Hurts will be back for week number 18. You can see they clinch a number of ways. All they need is a win versus the Giants at home. I saw the early spread. It was minus 14 because the Giants already has a playoff berth locked up and they might rest Saquon Barkley. Um, I, uh, they can clinch with a straight-up win versus the Giants or a 49ers loss versus the Cardinals, which isn't going to happen, and a Cowboys loss at the Commanders, which probably isn't going to happen. We saw how the Commanders looked with Carson Wentz. I don't know if they'll go back to, to Heineke, but Carson Wentz was a total eyesore. Uh, so it looks like the Eagles, they need to win. The Eagles need to win. The 49ers right now at 12-4, and four, coming off that close shootout win versus the Vegas Raiders that I totally called. I said, take Vegas plus six, take the over. Um, the 49ers can clinch with a win versus the Cardinals, which you would expect for sure because the Cardinals are tanking. And they also need an Eagles loss versus the Giants, so that seems unlikely. And then the Cowboys, it's even harder they need a win at the Commanders. Seems like that's going to happen. But they also need an Eagles loss and a 49ers loss. I would say the Eagles very likely will wrap up the one seed as long as Jalen Hurts is back. There's an outside chance maybe the 49ers can snatch away the number one seed with a 13-4 and record. But right now, the Eagles, especially with the Giants already making the playoffs at home, they should be able to win that game. The NFC East title... Uh, the Eagles clinch with a win versus the Giants or a Cowboys loss. The Cowboys b need both a win and an Eagles loss. So I would say certainly the Eagles should be the favorites to clinch the NFC East title. I think both the Eagles and the Cowboys will win in Week 18, or that's my expectation. The number seven seed, how about the Green Bay Packers? All they need is a home win versus the Detroit Lions. They've stormed back. And, and they needed a commander's loss last week, and they got it now. Looks like they're probably going to make the playoffs. The Lions, they need a win at the Packers and a Seahawks loss versus the Rams, which seems unlikely the Rams at this point with Baker Mayfield. The Seahawks need a win versus the Rams and a Packers loss. So right now, the Packers in total control with a home game. They're going to be a touchdown favorite or like a four-point favorite at least against Detroit. They are in control. Maybe Seattle with an outside chance looking in. These are the teams that officially have clinched the playoffs. You can see there are two spots remaining in the AFC. And there is one spot left in the NFC. The Bucks getting in, the Giants getting in, and the Chargers getting in, along with the Ravens and Cowboys, all of those being wildcard teams. And then the three division leaders there. And this is a look at the playoff bracket overall right now, where we stand. It would be Jacksonville, I believe, at home. Yeah, if they win the division, they get a home game versus the Chargers. Trevor Lawrence versus Justin Herbert. Cincinnati, Baltimore in a rematch. And they're going to play in week 18. This would be a rematch after that. So they would be playing back-to-back -back weeks, which I don't think the NFL would want. But you can see that game in Cincinnati. Buffalo and New England. I would That would be another rematch. Wow. I don't think the NFL wants back-to-back -back weeks with the same teams. And then the NFC, uh, it's going to be Tampa Bay at home versus Dallas. You would have to favor Davis, but Tampa Bay with Tom Brady, that was a vintage performance against Carolina. The four touchdowns, the 400 yards, the Mike Evans takeover, Tampa Bay looking better right now. The winner of that goes to Philadelphia, and then you have Minnesota at home versus the Giants. Certainly, Minnesota has been a very dicey team this year, but I do think that's an attractive matchup for them versus the Giants. Those two teams just played, like I believe, on Christmas Eve, and the Giants nearly won that game. Minnesota won it on like a 60-yard field goal, and then you do have San Francisco and Seattle 
in an NFC West showdown. Certainly, you would have to say San Francisco is the favorite, but with Brock Purdy, who knows? Uh, Seattle at this point, they did get a nice win against the Jets, but they are kind of tapering off. Now we're going to look at the overall odds. This is via 538, the overall odds here just to make the playoffs. You can see the Jaguars sitting at a 77% chance. Very likely, I would say, they win a home game against Tennessee and they win the AFC South. The Packers, 62% chance. I would bump that up a little bit. All they need is a win versus Detroit. I would say right now in a home game against Detroit... I would give the Packers probably a 70 to a 75% chance to win that game. The Dolphins sitting at a 53% chance right now, right around 50-50. There's a lot of uncertainty with Miami. Tua Tonga Vailoa, will the NFL allow him to come back with his concussion problems, even though it was confirmed he did not suffer a concussion La the two weeks ago during Christmas, they sat him out last week as a precaution. It'll be interesting to see what happens there. The Patriots about a 1-4 in four chance. The Titans, they've got to win the game against Jacksonville to make the playoffs. Ryan Tanhill out for the year. It's going to be hard. The C they're going to have to just, I would say, just run Derrick Henry. The Seahawks had a 21% chance. That's going to be tough for them. About a 1-5 in five shot. The Lions, less than a 20% chance. And then you do have the Steelers sitting. They need about two or three different things to happen along with them beating the Browns. You can see if they do beat the Browns, it goes up a little bit, but they still need a lot. You can kind of play around with this. Uh, I'm not going to really do that because it seems like it's lagging a little bit. Let's say the Dolphins beat the Jets. It gives them an 80% chance to make the playoffs. That would probably be a game, again, with Teddy Bridgewater. Um, and, and then you take a look at... Green Bay, all they've got to do is beat Detroit, and they're in. So you can kind of play around with this thing a little bit. If Jacksonville loses, imagine they would have just a 13% chance to get in as a wild card. And if they tie, they win the division. Uh, just because, I guess because of how the tiebreakers work or something. And then you can just see, like, the first round by the Eagles sitting at a 92% chance. They've got a home game with the Giants, of course. The Giants have already locked into their seed so I would expect the Eagles certainly to win that game if Jalen Hurts is back. And then you've got the Chiefs right now, a little bit higher than the Bills. That's mainly due to Buffalo having to play Cincinnati tonight on the road. Super critical game. I'm in on Buffalo minus one. I'm in on Stefan Diggs over receiving prop. Trust Josh Allen on the road. He's going to win this game. Let's say they beat Cincinnati, and now they're up to an 86% chance because they've got a home game with New England. They're going to be heavy favorites in that one. So it's, it's really interesting. It looks like the Eagles, the number one seed in the NFC, as long as they get Jalen Hurts back and they win. And then it looks like Bills or Chiefs, if the uh, Bills win tonight, they should uh, probably lock it up. If they lose tonight... It becomes very hard. Well, that's a tie. Never mind. If they lose tonight, it becomes almost impossible because you've got the Chiefs now. You would require the Chiefs to lose at a Vegas team who did play well. But again, it would be Mahomes versus Jarrett Stidham. The Chiefs would be motivated. That's if Buffalo loses tonight. The Chiefs get in prime position to take that number one seed in the AFC and get that first bye. And then just taking a look at the games, I said they would put the Chiefs game and the Bills game on at the same time. I was wrong. So they've actually already made two Saturday games that are confirmed. The Chiefs at the Raiders, the Chiefs sitting nine and a half point favorites, and then the Titans at the Jaguars is the other Saturday night game. That game has Jacksonville minus six and a half at home against the against the Tennessee team with a backup quarterback and then every other game is to be determined so you've got those two Saturday games right now it is kind of interesting they're putting they're staggering the times and, and possibly really giving Buffalo an advantage here could you imagine if Buffalo wins you know if Buffalo is able to beat Cincinnati that would knock Cincinnati out from having a chance at the one seed and then the Chiefs lose to the Raiders Buffalo could rest their starters in week 18 theory you know if they obviously play on Sunday the Chiefs lose on Saturday 
That's a big advantage, but I would imagine certainly the Chiefs would beat the Raiders. They're nine and a half point favorites. If the Chiefs beat the Raiders, the Bills do need to play their starters and beat New England at home to secure that one seed. So right now there's only two games confirmed because the NFL, I'm guessing, wants to see what happens between Cincinnati and Buffalo tonight. And maybe it would make that Week 18 division game, AFC North game, with possibly Lamar Jackson coming back, the Baltimore-Cincinnati game for the AFC North, and they might decide to make that the Sunday night game, if that is the scenario. But either way, guys, we'll have to see what happens. That is the full playoff picture updated. That's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.